One of my least favorite things about talking about reporting on tech leaks and rumors is when there is a leak or a rumor that seems to be like pretty well substantiated and then you report on it, you talk about it, and then literally the next day uh, someone comes along and says, well, maybe it's not exactly that, and then you have to come back and do <laughs> another video. That's the situation we have today with uh, Samsung's upcoming multi-fold device, a folding phone with two hinges. It opens up into a basically nine-inch inner display. Literally, like yesterday, I think, I showed you guys this post from Ice Universe, who has, you know, typically been pretty reliable when it comes to Samsung leaks, and they said it was reported that Samsung would release a triple fold in South Korea on September the 29th. Now, this is being translated from Chinese, and that's obviously, you know, potentially going to cause some problems, but it also says it was reported, which is why I told you guys, you know, maybe this isn't something he's saying. This is something that has been reported, and he is sort of backing that up or at least passing that report along. Now, if you're someone who is known in the tech leak community, you don't want to be passing stuff along that is inaccurate. So there's some reason to think that this would be accurate, but like I sort of alluded to, we have a little bit more about this now. This is a report from Sammy Guru, and I think that they're actually passing this along from ET News. You know that I've had sort of a tenuous relationship with some of these Korean publications because they got a ton of stuff wrong on the Special Edition and on the Z Fold 7, so this is all rumor and speculation. Previous reports from Korean media suggest the Z Fold uh, Z Trifold could launch on September the 29th, but latest reports indicate Samsung may push back the release. ET News reports that Samsung could unveil the Trifold as early as next month. The actual launch may not happen until November. That lines up with what Samsung executives previously told the media. It's at least a little bit of a letdown for people who want the device right away. So we may see an event on the 29th, and then maybe the device actually gets released a little bit later. They're also reporting a limited initial launch in South Korea and China, which is something that we've been hearing for a while, around 50,000 units. So that is a very limited launch. I mean, look, this device is gonna be very, very expensive, so that's not that crazy. But here's what is kind of crazy. An IMEI database potentially confirming the global launch of this device. So whenever you look at these images, that didn't really make that any bigger at all, you look for code names, Q7M, and then you look for model numbers. And this last bit here, this letter B, typically indicates where that model number is going to be released. And what Sammy Guru is pointing out here is that typically Samsung uses N for South Korea, they use an O for China, and B typically means a global model. And they have uncovered in the GSMA IMEI database, as you can see right here, SM5968. B, a global variant potentially in the database for this device. Now, as they say, a U.S. version typically has a U at the end. That is still not something that is showing up. So this would indicate South Korea and China first, very limited numbers, and then a global launch, which would be probably easier for you to import. Pro not necessarily like a U.S. release where you can go to your Verizon store and buy the thing, but a global launch more in the sense of what like Honor just did with the Magic V5. But that is still a potentially interesting little addition to this, that perhaps in 2026, this device could see a wider release. And I would wonder if this might be, you know, sales contingent. Maybe they need to sell a decent amount of these for them to want to actually do that. Not sure, but that model number being there with a B does at least point in that direction. Now, I also do want to show you something else that I thought was pretty cool. This was tweeted on August the 28th, and it shows several different animations that were uncovered inside One UI 8. I've already showed you this one where it kind of shows you the reverse wireless charging thing, and that's pretty cool, but there's another one here. This seems to show the way that this device is going to fold up. As you can see, as this thing plays forward, one side folds in, and then it folds in again in the same direction. Now, obviously, as we have seen what this device looks like, and we've seen this, we knew that it was going to fold in and fold in again, because it can't do 
anything else with this design, with this being where the cover display is. But it is interesting to see this in this animation, and I think that it's also interesting to see that rather than showing it basically fold in and then fold in, they show it fold in and then over again like that. You're getting to the same place at the end of the day, but it's just not the way that I visualized actually doing this. So that's kind of a cool little additional bit of information too. And then in case you've missed it, we had this report on Sam Mobile where they showed a couple more things that were pulled out of these One UI 8 builds. And you can see here a version of split screening, split trio icons. So this is a much larger screen. This is a 10 inch display, 9.9 .9 something inches. And it's obviously much wider, more like a normal tablet. So having two really big apps side by side, not the best way to take advantage of this space. So they're showing three apps all side by side by side. Think of it almost like open canvas, but all on the screen at once. And then you can even rotate this around and potentially do this vertically as well. I'm not sure if you have to rotate the device to do this. Probably not, given that Samsung doesn't really make you do that with top, bottom, split already. But that's pretty cool to see them doing something new with their multitasking setup. And then we also had this animation, which shows the way that the cover display mirroring is going to work. And I guess this is just an image because that's right. I actually got the full video over on Sammy Guru once again. You can see how the cover display mirroring is set to work. You have your layout on your cover display and you can see you have basically two pages on your cover display and those get copied over to the larger inner screen. Things get spaced out a little bit. This is something I need to correct from when I talked about this before. You can see these icons here are here on your taskbar and then potentially three more additional icons. Maybe those are like what we have on pixels where they're like predictive or maybe you can set them to be whatever you want. But nonetheless, you can see that the cover display mirroring thing is going to continue to be a thing. It's just going to be sort of spread out a little bit more to take better advantage of that larger screen. So guys, as we get closer and closer to this release, more and more is coming into focus. Maybe, just maybe, we're going to see an announcement by the end of this month and then a release shortly thereafter. I do expect more and more to leak out as we get closer because that is what always does happen. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.